<laughs> All right. We're continuing to look at our discussion about how to read the Bible as literature. And we've entered into a discussion of the Bible story as a particular genre. So we're looking at biblical narrative. And uh, in this episode, we want to look about uh, look at the character, how the character is created, developed by the author, and uh, what we can learn for our own experience. Uh, we've already said that biblical narrative includes a number of different elements. We'll be looking at uh, setting, and in this, uh, this video character, uh, we'll look at plot and plot devices and those kinds of things. And so I uh, hope that you will uh, check those out along the way as well. So when a biblical author is trying to describe for us a character, uh, he can tell us what that person is like in a number of different ways. Uh, first, he could step forward and become a character in the story. Uh, so the person telling the story can tell us what a person is like. And, uh, or he can have one author, one character in the story describe another character. We'll be looking at... Uh, Nabal, and uh, there is a point at which Nabal's wife, Abigail, tells David in order to avert disaster on her household uh, that her husband is a fool. Uh, we can take that as his character because it's his wife doing the, uh, giving us the, the uh, um, it's his, his wife telling on him. <laughs> there we are. And then sometimes there's self-characterization uh, in which the author tells us himself how he's thinking, how he's feeling in such a way that we know what his character is, is like. So in any of those three instances, uh, we can regard that as good, accurate information, authoritative characterization. Then there is direct characterization. Um, here there is the author is giving us his own evaluation. Now the serpent was more crafty. See, it's just the narrator telling us uh, what the character of the serpent is like. Uh, so sometimes there will be that direct characterization, and sometimes there will be indirect characterization. This you can see from the actions of a character. Uh, so in the story of Nabal and Abigail, uh, we see the character of David in that David will at least listen uh, to a voice to stop him from what would turn out to be a horrible decision by killing one of his own people that he would one day rule. So you sense that David is at least uh, approachable. He is willing to listen. And uh, that is seen in the story because of his actions. Um, it's indirect characterization. You get it sometimes in dialogue, in which uh, you hear uh, the servant reporting to Abigail about uh, the coming disaster from David. And just from the dialogue, you can tell that the, the man Nabal is not, uh, and not the guy that you want to depend, have your life dependent on. <laughs> uh, and sometimes from the, the tone, uh, that you get from the story, you can sense whether uh, the character being described is good or evil or what his intentions are. Sometimes the text will give us another person with the opposite qualities uh, so that you can see the character of the hero, the protagonist, by the light of the person with the opposite character. That's called a foil. So that's uh, indirect characterization. Other clues in the text as to how we can know uh, what our um, character um, is like. There are other ways that character can be shown um, through physical actions, uh, sometimes mental actions or thoughts that are recorded. Uh, you can tell character from the words that uh, your person says or the feelings or the emotions that he displays. Um, you can see character in the traits or abilities that they have. If they are a good warrior or if they are a good administrator, then they have skills that uh, you want to note. Um, the way that they relate to others and the relationships that they maintain and the roles that they play in those relationships all tell you about uh, the character of the person. And uh, then um, watch 
in the way that they respond to people, in the way that they respond to events. Um, all of that will tell you about uh, the character, whether that character is the protagonist or whether the character is the antagonist. Um, so here we are. Those are the primary characters. The protagonist is the hero of the story, the one where we, we're uh, um, hopefully rooting for. And then the antagonist is the villain, the one that we should be uh, booing and hoping uh, fails in his effort to thwart uh, the, anti the, the protagonist. Then there are a couple of other characters. One is a functional character, and the opposite of the functional character is the blocking character. Functional means he's helping to move the story along, and blocking character is somebody who stands in the way of the hero moving forward. So in our story of David and Abigail and Nabal, um, the story of David, Abigail, is a functional character, and Nabal is a blocking character in that particular story. Um, so pay attention to those things. All right, if you want more detail on how Bible stories work, um, you can check out the other video videos in the series or certainly check out Leland Reichen's How Bible Stories Work. We'll talk to you soon.